coach here in the two stone. It could be after leading the Arizona Wildcat baseball team to two appearances in the College World Series in the last five years. It is no secret that Coach Jay Johnson has become a hot commodity. We first told you about Louisiana State's interest in Coach Jay Johnson and now we're learning the coaching search for the SEC school has been narrowed down to three choices. Multiple outlets are reporting Jay Johnson is being considered along with East Carolina coach Cliff Godwin and Notre Dame skipper Link Jarrett. Johnson apparently interviewed with LSU on Tuesday. Johnson is just 44 years old and also led the Wildcats to an outright Pac-12 championship this season. If you're wondering, the Arizona Wildcat baseball team has an equally storied tradition. Both LSU and Arizona have been to the College World Series 18 times. That is tied for seventh on the all-time list. Arizona has four baseball national titles, which is fourth all-time behind USC's 12, Texas's and LSU's six, and ASU's five. And of course, then the Arizona Wildcats. No matter how each team's baseball history matches up, it's no secret that money talks. We will see if the Wildcats can keep pace with the cold cash that LSU throws at Johnson if he has offered a gig in Baton Rouge. We'll keep you updated. All right, and in a day game, the Arizona Diamondbacks hosted Milwaukee. Let's head nine minutes north to downtown Phoenix into the top of the seventh, and Avisael Garcia will knock in Luis Urias and extend the lead to 3-0 into the next inning with the Brewers leading 3-1, and Arizona's Eduardo Escobar says, A, B, C, ya. What do you want to be ya? Hey, it wouldn't be enough, though. The D-backs fall 3-2. That's your news. All right, moving on, the Tokyo Olympics are less than a month away and can be seen right here on KVOA with opening ceremonies beginning on July 23rd. And one Tucson that knows plenty about the sport of gymnastics is Yoichi Tomita. He is the co-owner of Gymnastics World right here in Tucson. Yoichi has also competed with his native country of Japan and has served as an Olympic coach for Team USA. And get this, this weekend, the proud Tucsona will be inducted into the USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame on Saturday, smack dab in the middle of the Olympic trials in St. Louis. He's also scheduled to leave for the Olympics around July 15th to Japan. Here's some file with Yoichi when I talked to him about the tremendous pride he has for being a part of Team USA, especially being able to be in Tokyo in Japan for the country, the country that he was born and raised in. I was really looking forward to uh, help USA team in Japan, my native country. I know the ins and ropes in this country, so in Japan. So mm -hmm. I was going to help a great deal about this uh, Olympic effort. I'm really honored and at the same time, uh, gratitude and appreciation for everyone who helped me through the last 45 years in the United States. Hey, we will keep tabs on Yoichi throughout all of the induction ceremonies throughout the weekend. And quickly, former U of A stand-up pitcher Tyler McGill has been promoted to the major leagues. He is making the start for the New York Mets against the Braves as we speak. And get this, he started things out with four scoreless innings on the mound. I'll have more on his major league debut tonight at 10. We'll be right back after the break.